Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create shopping carts. First we create a uh, table called product. And then I create uh, the product form.php file to upload the product images onto the web server and uh, populate that product table. You can see the first part of the script is about uploading images onto the web server and the second part is about uh, um, inserting records into the table. Our next task is to display those images onto the web page. If you don't know how to do it, you can visit my another video called uh, Create Photo Gallery. Our next job is to display each items when user click on one of the products. Now let's switch to the code view. On each item I will add the hyperlink which contains the value of PID. It will be passed on to the second record set. The second record set is based on the product table but filtered by PID. Based on second record set, we create detailed info section for each item. You can see every time I click on one of the items, the table on the right hand side will change accordingly. Now let's look at the detail section. You will see the product image, name and the price. Also, I have to make sure there's no error when the page is loaded first time. That is why I put if statement at the top of this section. You see, it works well. Now we can start talking about the shopping carts. Um, let's create a table cart first. It contains a quantity, product ID, session ID, and a timestamp. Let's create a form to populate the table card. You can see two hidden input fields. One is session ID, the other one is the product ID. There's an add to card button. Once you click it, uh, the form data will be sent to another PHP file to process it. The system will automatically generate session ID. You can see there is an if statement at top of this section to prevent error when the page is first loaded. It means if there is no records in the second record set, and the rest of the info will not be displayed on the web page. First, I create a record set filtered by PID and session ID. Get PID and SID from the form. If there is no record returned from the record set, we will think the quantity is 1. Then we insert SID, PID, quantity into the card table. Otherwise, the quantity will be incremented by 1. This JavaScript will redirect this page back to the original page. Now let's have a look.
you can see data has been entered into the table. If I click again, you can see the quantity will become 2 in the table. OK, it looks good. Now it's time to display the data we entered into the card table. First of all, I'm going to create a view in my SQL. Basically, um, it's just a SQL query. What I want to display for user is product quantity, name, and the price. Now I just create a dynamic table uh, based on the view I just created. It seems to me everything is displayed properly, but we need to calculate the subtotal for each item. I just add another column called total. The total for each item is equal to the price multiplied by the quantity of the product. Let's calculate the grand total. We display the grand total at the bottom of the table. OK, the last task is to let user to delete the item from the table. First, we create a delete column and then make a hyperlink. It contains the value of the PID. Now, let's create delete card.php file. The record set is based on the card table filtered by PID. and then click on the server behaviors tab um, select delete record and then make sure the primary key value is PID which is from URL parameter and also select PID for primary key column It looks good to me. Thank you for watching. Bye.